Hi, my name's Claire. Welcome to the museum. Today we're going on a mini beast safari to hunt for the little animals that live on the rainforest floor. Let's have a look. The floor of the forest is called the cryptosphere. Crypto means hidden. This tells us it's not easy to find the critters. Sphere means layers. There are three layers in the cryptosphere. On the surface layer, you can see leaves and fruit. And there you find animals that run like spiders and beetles and ants. They have longish legs and there are snails which are roundish. The next layer is the mulch layer with rotting leaves. And here you find animals that crawl like centipedes and cockroaches. They're flatter and they have shorter legs. The next layer is the soil layer, and that's where you find the burrowing animals like worms and beetle larvae or grubs. What shape are their bodies? What are their legs like? Trick question, they don't have legs. So you can see that the animals that live in the different layers have different body shapes. You can make your own forest floor at home. First, we need a soil layer. I've colored mine brown. And then we need some leaves. I'll colour these in, all sorts of different colours. So we'll have one that looks like this. And then we cut them out. When you've cut out all your leaves, do the same thing with your mini beasts. Colour them in and cut them out and you're ready to make your layers. So, on top of our soil layer, we have the burrowing animals. So we're gonna stick those on anywhere that we wanna put them. So we have a couple of worms and a beetle larvae. The next layer, we're gonna put some leaves. So we've got some dead leaves over the top. Now, some of these leaves, you can just put a little bit of glue on so that you can see the animals that are underneath. Then we need the middle mulch layer. And here we've got the crawling animals with the short legs. So we've got a cockroach and a centipede and some slaters. And we cover them up. So we put more leaves down. Now for the final layer of animals that live on the top, we have spiders and we've got an ant and a snail. Now you can lift up the leaves to see the mini beasts living in the different layers. You could do a real mini beast safari in your backyard or a nearby park. Find a well mulched spot, look for things on the surface layer and then in the mulch and then dig down into the soil. I wonder what mini beasts you'll find. 